Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an HP error that says no bootable devices found. This should be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And the first thing I would recommend doing would be to, as your computer is turning on or shutting down, you want to repeatedly tap the escape key on your keyboard. So just keep tapping the escape key right after you turn your power on from the source. So just start tapping the escape key until you get to a boot menu that appears like this. And then using your down arrow key on your keyboard, you want to go down until you have the enter setup highlighted. Once you're highlighted over that, you want to hit the enter key on your keyboard. And now using your left and right arrow keys to navigate, you want to go over until you get to the system configuration tab. Now I do not have one on this system because this came as a request from a user who had an HP computer and since I'm in a virtual environment I do have a few limitations as to what I can show in a video. But from here we pretty much are halfway done and I'm going to just walk you guys verbally through what you have to do from here. So you want to find a system configuration tab like I said and then you want to use your down arrow key until you get to something that says boot options. So you want to use the arrow key tap repeatedly down until you get to boot options and then once you have that area highlighted over and it'll appear in white text and I should note when I say highlighted I mean white text you want to hit enter to get into the boot options area and keep in mind the boot options is not the original boot options we got to get into our bios the boot options is another second boot options we're trying to get into and then you want to use your arrow keys until you get to an area over legacy support if it's currently enabled, you want to disable that setting. So in order to disable it, there should be something, a key at the bottom of your screen that should say change values with a plus or a minus sign. It might be different for you guys, but you want to set it to the disabled position. If it's currently enabled, disable it. And then once you've made that change, you want to hit F10 on your keyboard or whatever it says at the bottom here. As you can see, I have a bunch of shortcuts that'll tell you like F9, change to setup defaults, or go back to setup defaults. F10 will save and exit. At least in my case, again, you guys might be a little bit different. You're gonna ha I'm gonna tap on F10, save configuration changes. I'm gonna hit enter over the yes. So at this point, your computer will restart and hopefully your boot error has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope it helped you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.